You, 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 you. Isn't it your birthday? Or it was? Or something? Is it your actual birthday right now? Or just close enough? And okay. speaking well, happy of birthday! Stars, be sure to check out all of our experiences Yay. currently oh. on view at the uh, Aikman. My book tour is back open. Including so, a submarine standoff with let's fate. Go. Oh, you got the tarp. When the ice seems endless and options oh, are few, can a downtrodden mollusk crow save the day? I love tarts. I love any sweet treats. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. You don't have a hat. Do you want a hat? I'll give you a hat. No homish cries. I didn't even realize dolphins had each other. Yay, you're the captain of the ship now. Our most ambitious show yet. Now playing a oh, birthday hat. Of course, you. of course, of course. Okay, so for those of you that don't know me, which I, I don't think that's not my name of you, but I'm Abby Crobb, and I'm the best-selling author in the under. And we're going on my book tour, and there's a crab floating in the air over there, a little one. Uh, Our next anyway, guest was blessed with uh, the gift of song. Next stop so of the tour is the island. I'm not sure she's ever so used it. meet me there. Y'all know how to get there. Just eat some poison. Good spot. This little house here. Good spot for story time. So that crog is going to be the star of our story. Her name is Olive. Oh, hi, Olive. I'm glad I figured out who it was uh, before she started telling the story. Uh, she just disappeared. So, for those of you who don't know how it works, I wrote a book called Crab Tales. It is a oh, is that Izzy? Hi, Izzy. Is it Izzy's birthday too? Happy birthday, Izzy! <laughs> Yay! Oh, how wonderful that you get to celebrate together. Okay, so um, book's called Crab Tales. It's a collection of short stories about the little crabs that you see crawling around in the under. Um, and it's a magic book. My great uncle, the Crab King, enchanted it, so every time I tell the story out loud, it automatically gets added to the book. And uh, how the stories work is I start telling the story, and then you create objects, and I incorporate them into the story. So, once upon a time, there was a crab named Olive, and it was her birthday! I'm gonna make it a birthday story for you. And so she was, um, you know, she was partying really hard with her broom. And uh, all of it, her broom, were just, you know, they, they, got, they were drinking beer and then smashing the bottles on the floor because they were hard partying folks. And Olive's broom was named Cupcake. And so they were also eating cupcakes as their birthday cake. They, though they were both had a birthday together. And cupcakes are delicious. And hold on, we're gonna take a break from the story for a second to lick this frosting because it's so good. Mm, yummy, 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 yummy. Wow, I'm hyper now. Okay. And because brooms have weird tastes in things, they're, um, the frosting on the cupcakes on Cupcake's Cupcake was ketchup flavored. And Olive thought that was a little weird, but hers was onion flavored. So, you know, crabs, brooms, time trades. We all have different tastes and different things. And, um, yeah, uh, Cupcake the Broom was actually providing the entertainment for the bro- No! No, it was- 
It was Izzy. Izzy was hired to perform and play the guitar on stage. They rented out a whole club to uh, to party in. So Izzy the Broom was playing the music. Everybody was, uh, you know, eating these giant weird flavored cupcakes, drinking wine. It was a good half time until something very mysterious happened. Suddenly, carrots started falling from the ceiling. There were carrots everywhere. And something about mm, something about uh, rooms is that they actually hate carrots. And so uh, Olive and Cupcake said, who is, uh, who is playing this prank on us? They were also throwing onions, but Olive really liked onions, so she was just happy to have the snack. Um, so they had to figure out who was throwing carrots and trying to ruin their birthday party. So... Olive looked up at the ceiling to see if anybody was there. But it looked like it was an invisible person. And then they started throwing broccoli. And every crop hates broccoli except my mom for some weird reason. But then they saw a shiny shell on the ceiling. It was a giant snail with a feather hat. And that snail was Cupcake the Broom's arch nemesis. And his name was... Uh... Mm, candy. His name was Candy, the evil villain snail. Candy said, <laughs> I am here to ruin your birthday. And Olive said, why would you do such a thing? And, and Candy said, it's because you are my arch nemesis. Because back when we were in second grade together, you never, you never shared your, um, your fruits and vegetables with me. And you always had grapes and tomatoes and apples in your lunch and you didn't even really want to eat them. But, um, you never shared with me, even though I liked them. And then the one time you did share with me, you, you made it gold so I couldn't even eat it. And then you poisoned the apple, so I got sick. And then, um, so now I am your an enemy and I am determined to ruin your birthday and Olive said oh my god Candy that was like a million years ago here you know I made this really great roast chicken to have this, uh, for our uh, you know our birthday dinner if I give you some can we not be enemies anymore and Candy said no that's like the dumbest thing I've ever heard who would who would you know, resolve a, a decades-long enemy shift over chicken. And he pulled out his sword and said, I'm ready to fight you. And then Olive said, oh, trust me. No, you haven't tried this chicken yet. This chicken is really good. It's got 11 herbs and spices. It, it, it will be like music to your taste buds. So put down your sword and just have a bite of this chicken. And... Um, and so Olive put together a big plate of chicken for candy and put some onions on the side and he and, and she even got him a beer and, and she put some bread on the side in case he wanted to make it into a sandwich and so he reluctantly took a bite out of it oh and then he, and then she also put some um, pie on the plate. Just, you know, you gotta have some carbs to balance out your protein. And I'm gonna eat this real quick. Mmm, so good. Okay, so she um, she gave him the plate. Candy took a bite, 
of the chicken. And after one bite, he said, oh my God, we gotta be best friends because that is seriously the best chicken I've ever eaten in my entire life. And I feel like we could like end every war in the world with this chicken and every rivalry and every thing negative that can be by this delicious chicken. And so uh, Candy said, can we be best friends now? And Olive said, yes, you can, but you gotta be friends with my broom too. Her name is Cupcake, so get you. And he said, okay, I'm in. And then he took, he put down his sword. Well, he picked up his sword and he said, instead of fighting you, I'm going to knight you. And he knighted both Olive and Cupcake into the secret order of of Candy's friends and uh, he spent the rest of the night with a palm frond blowing some wind on them to keep them cool and happy on their birthday and then a few months later when it was Candy's birthday Olive threw a party for him and she made that famous chicken and everybody who was at the party said it was the best party it ever been because the chicken was so delicious and so candy and olive both made a whole bunch of new friends and they were super popular because they made the best chicken and they um they even ended up starting a restaurant later because the chicken was so good and they just sold plates and plates and plates of chicken. And that is how two enemies can become friends and business partners. The power of delicious chicken. The end. Yay! Well, thanks for coming to my book tour. I've got some copies of the book that I can sign for you. And yeah, I think there will be eight more stops of the tour after this and then I'll just go back to doing regular story time. Okay, dear druid mask witch hat, I like you've got a whole mythology theme going on, a whole occult thing. I like it, I dig it, and it's also very triangular. Stay triangular, love Abby. Okay. I'll do this. Dear Cheese Mask Angel Halo, I like your ensemble because cheese tastes like it comes from the heavens. Love, Abby. Okay. Dear Burger Hat Swirly Mask, you also have a really great ensemble because the swirl looks like a, a like a, how you swirl like ketchup or mustard on top of a burger. I really appreciate it and it's making me hungry. I'm gonna eat a lot after this. Love, Abby. <laughs> okay. Dear Tart Hat Star Mask, queen of everything. You're just awesome. I like that your um, hat and your mask both have like a bunch of pointy edges. It, it's a very good look. Everybody is very fashionable today. Um, yeah. Stay awesome. Love, Abby. Okay. Dear birthday twins, I hope you had the best birthday ever and many more to come. Love, Abby. Yay! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, thanks for coming to the book tour. I, um, I gotta do some more location scouting because I'm kind of running out of places for my next, uh, um, I've got eight more, uh, tour stops on my contract, so, uh, gotta, gotta scout some locations, um, so I'm gonna go do that, but I, can I get a group hug first? Because I love you guys because you, you made me into, you know, a best-selling author when I, just a couple months ago, didn't even know the alphabet. So, I love you. I love you.